A New Haven school teacher who uses a wheelchair is suing the Board of Education. Because she says some of the changes made at the school didn't go far enough to accommodate her disabilities. News 8 Noelle Gardner spoke with that teacher. She's live at Fairhaven Middle School. Noelle. Scott and Ann, the teacher's asking for a handicapped parking space in front of the building and as access to the building like every teacher working here. But just because I can't physically do what other people are doing, I should still be able to go to my job. And Paula Lang Lois has multiple difficult. sclerosis. The six year veteran of Fairhaven so Middle School gets around in a wheelchair. It's just an ongoing battle for me every single day. We first told you about Paula last May. She asked the school district to install a keypad at a handicap accessible door. They did that, but Paula says it's not good enough because she works late. Other teachers have access to the building. They can go up those stairs and they can go in the building whenever they choose. Other programs at night can go in the building whenever they choose. But my door is the only door that locks at 5 o'clock. In response, the city of New Haven says school district officials are aware of the lawsuit. However, it is the policy and practice of New Haven public schools to withhold comment on matters involving pending litigation. The other issue, Paula's handicap accessible van barely fits into a regular parking space. She says there's not enough room for the ramp to lower and for the wheelchair to get in and out. And sometimes she's stuck outside for hours. It's not a handicap spot and people don't see any markings of any kind, so they park up to two inches close to my vehicle at night and I can't get out. Paula wants a designated handicap parking space with a sign and a ramp in front of the building. Paula says her wheelchair flipped just last week as she was trying to get to her van. As I go down the ramp, because it's too steep, the other day it went right into this, this groove here and I flipped over in my chair. She says the stress has made her multiple sclerosis worse, but says she wants to continue to teach students. I don't want to retire. I don't want to stop teaching. This is my passion and my soul. And we checked, there are two handicapped spaces in back of the building that were occupied today. We asked Paula about those spaces. She tells us they're just too far away. Reporting live tonight in New Haven, Noel Gardner, News 8.